752. This is one of my favorite events to come to the D.C. area because it puts you in that adventurous yeah. kind of state of mind. And if you're looking for a little adventure this weekend, well, Holly's got all that for us this morning. She's at the Washington Convention Center as they get ready for the Travel and Adventure Show. Holly, good morning. What are you into now? I am into a whole lot of fun, and you will too if you come out to the show. You know, it's the seventh year for this show, and as you've already seen, it's a little bit of a vacation just coming here. Well, if you're looking to beat the winter blues with a sunny, warm vacation, the Travel and Adventure Show can help you out quite a bit. It's going on at the Donald Stevens Convention Center in Rosemont right now. And no matter where it is you want to go in the world, you can customize a vacation adventure to your liking, as we found out when we talked with John Golich from the Bay Area Travel and Adventure Show. John, this feels like it's pretty well attended. I mean, how many are you expecting? Well, we're hoping to get seven, ten thousand people here this weekend, yeah. so we're excited about it. It's a busy weekend in LA. Gail Anderson live in Beverly Hills with info about the LA Travel and Adventure Show. Hey, I'm Samantha Brown, and I'm here in DC at the Travel Adventure Show. Uh, I love to come here uh, every year. There it is. It is the largest travel event in the West. Yep, that's where we find Ally McKay, live from the LA Convention Center with a preview. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. Yeah, it's all going down tomorrow. Now, these angels are facing you because they're with the LA Travel and Adventure Show, uh, Automobile Club of Southern California. Hot, hot, hot. Because they have so many fun activities for you to really try out and inspire you for that next getaway. John Golich is the CEO and founder of Unicom, which is the show producer. It is good to see you. Well, welcome back, Holly. Thanks for coming to see us. I can't miss out on all this fun going on. Uh, and so let's talk a little bit about the state of travel. Where, What's the trends right now? Where are people going? Are they spending money? I've got to tell you, we've seen through our shows throughout the country this year, a huge increase in attendance, and it's because people are really willing to get back out there and travel. So why do people come to a show like this? I mean, what are they going to get out of it if they come? This whole show is filled up with people who are experts about the activities and destinations that you want to go to. Okay, we're here at the Travel and Adventure Show in D.C. with Mark DiCarlo, and you had two presentations this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, with the Fiery Foods Challenge. Yes. How'd that go? It was fantastic. People ate and traveled without even leaving the theater. By the way, guys, close to 10,000 people checked out the Bay Area Travel and Adventure Show. First time it had been in the Bay Area, too. We have more to come. We're going to be zipping and diving and climbing. What I love about it, it allows people to um, enjoy travel. They have a big tank where you can scuba dive, a zip line across the floor. And for the first time at the Travel and Adventure Show, they are offering up a fiery foods challenge. So that's what we are going to do. These different chefs are from area restaurants, and they are making cultural cuisine. Uh, they have to have a little bit of a kick, so here's my tasters. <laughs> I like spicy, too. I'm going to start over here with Bobby Sims and Chef George Lanky Beckford from Sweet Mango Cafe. And it features a ton of experts out there, and one of them joins us this morning. Rick Steves has a show on PBS about Europe. The great thing about a convention like this is we got experts from all over the world helping people put their travel dreams in focus. Catherine is with Tanaya Lodge at the southern entrance of Yosemite, and uh, give me a quick rundown. What is Tanaya Lodge? Tanaya Lodge is a four-diamond resort. Right, the biggest consumer travel expo opens tomorrow, but Phil Schumann is already there. Last time he was climbing the wall, and now he's in the pool. Good morning to you, Phil. Yesterday it seemed like half of Chicago was here, uh, you know, talking up their travels and. and and uh, oh, I'm looking, and right now a belly dancer is going by. It's just, oh, there we go. See? It's just amazing the people you see, the cultures you come in contact with. Just a great way to see the world all at your uh, in your backyard. So come. 